Hello everyone, I'm Greekluk, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 342 of Factorio with the Seedlock mod, where we are going to be working on insulated wire through all of these many, many recipes. And I guess we should just start by actually getting some of the resources in here. Or maybe we should start by going in here and seeing how beacons will affect all of this. So if we do that for all of them... Maybe use better machines. At least for the planning part. Then we really do not need a lot of machines to make just the 15 insulated wire per second we want for this stuff. So one yellow signs per second, I guess. And of course we can just scale that up, but let's just get it started first of all. So let's start from the bottom. Raw gas is the first thing we need. So this will be called insulated without caps lock on. Insulated wire raw gas. And I'm just gonna be lazy and copy that. And use it for fuel as well. And we should probably get that train in. The fuel train, I mean. Insulated wire. Not raw gas, dang it. Fuel. Empty all the time. Get down here, please. Oh, we have problems here. What's this? Barrel stuff. But this looks like barrel stuff as well. Oh, they all need to grab some iron or something. Are we just that low on iron, really? Should improve on that at some point. This is just an outdated setup as well. There's no beacons in mind when doing this. But I mean, all of this should be able to make full belts. It's just that this doesn't because there's no beacons here, and we can improve that, I think. But let's not worry about that right now. Just get the fuel train. So, raw gas. And then we need maybe NAFTA next. I'm just gonna do NAFTA. NAFTA. Is that how it's spelled? Seems right. Wait, what? Is it right? No, there's two H's in there, okay. I'm not gonna be saying that right in any way. We need... Hydrofluoric acid in. And then we need green metal catalysts. Green, come on, metal, at uh, list, and we need copper and tin. And we need barrel stuff.
And then we have outputs. Let's start by getting the barrel stuff in. You go. Barrel stuff. And that's all an item count. Did it look like this was spelled wrong? I don't know. Oh, there's just two white spaces in there, that's why. Two spaces. You need fuel, first of all. And I didn't keep the fuel train here for very long, so we only have... Well, we actually have 2,800 2, available. So that should be okay. Did we already make a raw gas train up here? Doesn't look like it. We should also get radar coverage of that. But I just want this train to get going as fast as possible. I think that will be our first bottleneck for anything to get started, so that's why. Good train, 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 train. Not that train. Good. So you go to raw gas. Wall, back here, empty, go. You go to NAFTA, but there's no NAFTA yet, right? You go to hydrofluoric acid. Hydrochloric, hydrofluoric, yes please. I didn't name that right. I'll fix that. Hydrogluoric. Blue. Auric. Yes. Cover. I know this is not the right thing for this station, but it doesn't really matter. Full cargo, insulated wire, empty. This one can be green metal catalyst instead. Full insulated, empty. And tin. Tin plate, full. To insulated wire tin, empty. And then after we'll have to wait. I'm gonna get everything started up here first, or at least start building stuff. We'll see how far we get, because again, we need the NAFTA. I think this will just be our middle area. So we can have roboports and charging it and whatever else we want in here. And then we just build out from there. So first step is advanced gas refineries and steam crackers and more advanced gas refinery and more steam crackers. Which we haven't brought. At least I don't think so. No. So I should go grab that.
Well, let's see if we can find stuff here. Is this Team Kratos? No. This is gas refineries. This is advanced gas refinery. Yes, and that's what we need, right? Yes. Can't do higher tiers of those yet. It's fine. That's an oil gas separator. Do we need that at some point? No. Because again, we're not doing oil, actually. We're just doing other things. Do purple of those as well. That's fine. We need this if we are going to go make NAFTA afterwards. So maybe we should just take a stack of these. At least I think we need those. I might be wrong. There's so many recipes to keep track of. Are we good? We have chemical plants in some sort. Advanced chemical plant. Is that needed? It is. So we should get one of those. Good. And everything else I believe I have. Here comes barrel stuff, and that's probably gonna be emptied pretty soon, at least of iron. But that can get us started at least, I would hope. Except that we will run out of... No, this should be bottled, so that's fine. Raw gas. Bottle it up. We have some bottles, good. They're requested we have gas, good. Have barrels. I do fluoric. Is it? I have some storage for all of these somewhere. I'm gonna borrow that. They need to be barrels. And these need to be canisters. Obviously we're gonna leave some space here for at least a beacon, maybe a power pool as well. Or a signal or whatever we want to use that one tile for. And then we can build above this. So advanced gas refinery. That's a big one. Two tiles for pipes. We need raw gas and we get two gases out. We do not need a lot of fluids going through this. For the four machines at least. So if we wanted to scale this up at some point, we can go to at least twice this. So maybe just having four on each side of a build. Oh, some bottling stuff. Means this can go closer to the edge here. Something like that. So we need 
the raw gas in, bottling, or oh, unbottling it, and we need two gases coming out of that. Unless we should directly feed those somewhere else. We should burn as a gas, I believe. We don't want to export that from here. And it's not needed anywhere here, I don't think. I think you can use it to make something we need, but... Hydrochloric... Oh, hydrofluoric, sorry. Acid through this. Yes. But... No. We're burning it. So let's get a recipe in here first. All two outputs like that. All good. I'm trying to keep a standard here of everything. Our machines looking towards this being the middle. We'll have the shorter or closer pipes closer to the middle. I want to say that. Leap, that's fine. Yes, good. And this will be here. Actually, we can keep these all together when they only have two outputs. And we can move that over. And then this needed to be bottled up or directly input into something else. Directly into these. Could just have those right next to each other then. Yeah, that will save us some robot work. And out of that comes three gases, and those we will bottle up, I think. Since they need to go to a lot of different stuff. Yeah, we will. We want that bottling up to happen in here? I don't know. Make natural gas liquids. Oh, use natural gas liquids to make natural gases. We could reuse all of this residual gas to use or do some of this that will make us more stuff. At least more methane. That may needs carbon dioxide carbon monoxide. No, it makes carbon monoxide. Hmm. I'll consider that. We wouldn't have enough synthesis gas, I don't think, for all of this. We, if we're making more methane. Even doing anything with the methane. That particle thing goes in here for benzene. And we could also use butane for benzene, and we already have enough. So maybe it's a waste of effort since we will be burning some of this stuff anyway. So why not just burn the residual gas instead? I think I'm making sense to myself right now. We'll see though. So we have three outputs here. That's probably okay. Just gonna move this over here somewhere. So this takes up another tile down here. We could move this up. No, we already have 
get all the way up. Okay, so this is just a little bit wider, but I'm still going to do this. So if we don't need the butane, just get that as an output and some more of the methane as well. It shouldn't worry about bottling up the butane at least. <coughs> methane and ethane is necessary. At least I think so. I'm just going to check. I know I've checked this a hundred times already, but we can't get NAFTA out of something like that in any way, right? No. Only crude oil and synthesis gas. And I believe we checked that we don't get enough synthesis gas to make the NAFTA. <coughs> At least I don't think so. I'm just gonna have a look here again. So, we get how much ethane? 140, that's the whole thing currently. No, wait, from this. <coughs> yes. And this we get from Ethan into. Was it ethylene? I get so confused about these recipes. Ethan into ethylene, yes. Let's unlink this and go by input and say a hundred and something, 140 ethane. That gives us the first 46 NAFTA. We need another catalyst in if we want this, but I guess that could be okay. Then we also get some from NAFTA into butadine. We'll take that last though. Let's have a look at this first. Butane into benzene. Didn't we need butadine or something? And butadine is not made from butane? No, it's made from NAFTA. Okay. And that's just not me selecting a wrong recipe? No. Okay. So we use our butane, the 493 that we get, to make residual gas. Gonna put that in another block here. Butane to benzene. Yes. And was it 90 or 80 or something? 93? Sure thing. By input. 93. That gives us another 31 after. F77. And then when we take this and turn into butadine, we get 37. I think that actually matches up exactly. So 31 plus 46. Let's 
plus 37. Wait, that's not... We don't get 37 naft out of that. We get 37 residual gas. Which makes... 50% more than synthesis. No, oh, it's one to one between residual gas and F nafta. So it is actually 37. So we can do this locally. Do I want to do all of this though? Let's keep it as an option for later. Or maybe we'll do it. We'll see. In any case, we want to barrel all of these up, or bottle them up, I guess, since they are gases. Let's just go there. So you, unbad bottle, raw gas. You bottle up. Butane. No, wait, they need to actually match these. So that one is butane. Yes. Butane. Fill a bottle. Grab a bottle. You are. This one. Ethan. Fill Ethan gas bottle. And then methane. It's good. And the input from for this comes from over there. I'm just gonna have an extra stock for that. We just need three of these. Yes. And we need to power it all. We're getting gases. Good. Mm. So we're just giving NAFTA still. Should we start on both sides from the beginning? We probably should. To keep everything as close to the trains as possible. As long as we have enough lane fuel. Like we do. Good. Done and done. Then we take the ethane and steam crack it with steam, obviously. So if we take. We have a lot of things that need steam. Should we barrel it up? I don't think so. If we can even do that, I guess not. But if we want it from a boiler of the highest tier potentially, we just need four to make everything for the system. So two for this and two for this. And then extras for this. We will just make that locally, sure. We do need to be able to make 112 Point five per second for this loop. Steam Crayer. Oops. 
Go away. Are we gonna put this right up against the rope of port? No. One tile to each side, sure. Good, so you will do uh, this ethane to ethylene. Ethane to ethylene, yes please. We need a gas in, steam in, and two gases out. Let's get a gas in from here. Um, wait, so we needed four of these, but that's without beacons. So we only need one for everything, so we will just have one here. Still make it locally, but only one machine. And of course that only takes water in from the side. It would have been ridiculous if it was just at the back, like a normal thing. Mm. But this is one to one, so we need 112.5 water per second. That's two of these. Or one of these. But that's more space, so I think we will need to do something like this Would this be any smaller if we did this not really no but we will then just move all of this into here where did i lose this nobody knows oh from this okay You unpuddle ethane. This should be carried over to here. Just to make sure we don't use too much space. That goes in there. Outputs are bottled up over here somewhere. Now, if instead of doing it like this, I had all of this on one side of this, then we could actually expand on this at some point, without having to copy everything around. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. It would be nice if these switched places so everything could reach. That's not how it goes. Five. This doesn't reach anymore in any way. Dang it. I should just have left it then, but whatever now. And then I cut these. And then we can just scale this up outwards. Unless we want to take the output from this and put into wherever ethylene goes. Along with benzene, so no, we need to combine it with something else. So let's keep it scalable in case we ever want more insulated wire. Or rubber. Good. So this puts out ethane. Empty ethane bottle. And 
this bottle's up. <coughs> Residual gas. This bottle's up. Ethylene. Ethylene. I can't spell ethylene. Good. We have, haven't caught up on bottles yet, that's fine. And power. Good. This isn't going to be a pretty area, so sorry if you thought that. I just want it to work. I want insulated wires to be done and then never think about this again. Good. So, this... No, this is done. Good. Next, methane into benzene. And then benzene and gasoline into something else. We could actually have everything here. But again, we're trying to make it a little bit more scalable, just in case. So never mind that. We need a gas and a solid into this. Output a gas and a solid. More than enough amounts that we can scale it, so we will keep the liquid inputs and outputs on this side. That lines up right. Yes. And we put that into one of these to make it seem. Yes, please. Wait, no, we, oh, we only need one in, one liquid in, and then one liquid out. This is input. Might as well try and make this as small as possible, I guess. So this is output. Except we need space for solid inputs and outputs. That's output. Maybe we just have the input here. Alternatively, we have it down here and then we don't move this down one tile. <coughs> But I think I'm okay with this. Good, so this grabs ethylene. Right? And we're making benzene from... No, methane, sorry. Methane. Gas bottle. We're making benzene still. And we need a solid in. Good. How come everything is not running yet? We should also have more robots in here. That could help us a bit. Let's start with 250. They have some stuff to catch up on, but after that we should be okay, I think. 
Yeah, we're already starting to relax. Good. We are still not getting methane in. These are not supposed to be active. Dang. They are passive. This is active, yes. Oh, also we need to burn butane. But that's not even why we have a problem. Why we're not bottling up methane? Because this is the wrong way around, because I was doing a provider unbottling thing. Okay. But we do need to burn butane. To begin with, at least. We'll see if we do the NAFTA thing for it. Yes. So, we have methane, we have ethane. We have ethylene, we have benzene. Good. I just gonna put those there to scale it eventually. Potentially. I'm gonna call that done. And now this is done. Then we take butane. This is for later though, we're burning it for now. We take our ethylene and benzene and turn it into ethyl benzene. We won't move over there just yet, I don't think. Try to keep the stuff close here. So ethylene and benzene and hydrofluoric acid in. Then burn this and put this out. In two advanced chemical plants. And that is with beacons. Okay. The amounts here are not too great, so we will just try and keep it on one side again. So we need three liquids in. We need at least three tiles below this, probably more actually. Then we need one bottling thing. Not sure if this should probably be down here. And then we need to burn some stuff. But I need to see how this gets in and out first. Before I can make a design for that. So if I put this here, I'm gonna break my own standard rules of having the closest input being the shortest pipe. Uh, you are going to make ethyl benzene. Benzene can't just be there, because then we are interfering with that. Unless we move this out here. And move everything in. That could work. This could even then go under. But we can't scale it then if we do that, so let's not. Also, let's try and keep it to keep this for the input that is over here. So the left producer goes to the left input, something like that. Just makes this a little bit more orderly, I feel. And then outputs here. And this is again in the way so we need to burn this. Oh, 
What are we going to do with this? I mean, we could just put one of these here. But just waste a tile. Or a row of tiles. But I sort of like the simplicity of that. And again, I just want this to be done. How about that? Get some hydrofluoric acid. Get some ethylene. Empty ethylene gas pot. And get some benzene. And bottle up some ethyl benzene. We not gotten the hydrofluoric acid in it. Well, we are only making small amounts of that in the new area over here, and we really need radar coverage of that so I can see if anything has gone wrong. But for now, let's start with the small amount that we got. Okay, so now ethyl benzene, both benzene and ethyl benzene is done. And that is turned into styrene. But of course, just handle this locally. One of these to one of those, instead of barreling this up. I think I like that idea. We'll see. As long as we can keep it a little bit scalable, then it should be fine. So styrene. Yes, please. Let's just put that there. Again, we're trying to keep it scalable. This could go here, potentially. Go under all this and then be bolted or barreled or whatever up over here. Unless we want that to go directly into liquid rubber, but I don't think we do. Not this time. Something like that could work, maybe. We need a catalyst in, of course. And we're not leaving a lot of space for that. Are we allowed to put something here? Maybe. We'll do it for now, at least. Output, input. Good, green metal catalysts. And go. So now we have styrene. Fill styrene with a barrel. producer rather than a consumer of things. Good. 
so that is done. Oh, we are making butadine from this. So now we are getting to the stuff that we can't do yet. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.